Why you're not sinning? I'm asking you. Why you're not going clubbing in Shabbos? Why you're not doing drugs all day long? Why? Why you're not dating thousands of women? Why? Why you're not drinking alcohol every morning when you wake up? Why are you sober? Why you came to my class? I'm asking you. Why? Because you're afraid to be punished in hell? Crazy! If that's the reason why you came here, you're crazy. You lost your mind. You lost your mind. You don't have no connection to the real purpose of Hashem. You're serving Him not to be punished by Him. If this is the nature of God, I'm not serving that kind of God for a second in my life. I would never do that to myself. I would betray myself so badly to follow such a cruel leader, such a vicious king that will destroy me. If I'm just gonna move, no way. If not out of a love, if not out of honor, if not out of respect, if not out of appreciation and gratitude, so why to serve? To serve someone? To sell yourself to be a slave to someone that will punish you in the end? We know that it's written that no one can fulfill his obligation. There is no righteous man in this world that will do only good and not gonna sin. Verse, the Bible, the Torah is saying that to you. You can't move to the sides. No person went out from this world without making mistakes. King David made mistakes. Abraham Avinu made mistakes. Yaakov, Yitzchak, Moshe, Aharon, Yosef. Everyone made mistakes. King Shlomo, everyone made mistakes. Everyone. Every person in this world made mistakes. Why? Because Hashem Barach made the world in that way that every person is going to fail. So now, what? He created the world in that way that I'm going to fail in that world and then I'm going to be punished? No way. So what's the solution? The solution is tshuva. He also gave you the key to solve all of your problems. That if you sinned, because you've sinned, because you're going to sin. Because for sure you're going to sin. Because there is no person in this world that will do only good and not going to sin. Not going to cry. It's not a reality. It's not an option. So, God gave you a key. He gave you a solution. What's the solution? Come back to me, my child. If a man or a woman made a crime, made a sin, they need to come and confess. That's it. That's a solution. Now, you don't believe in yourself and that's your problem. That the tshuva, that you confess, will help you. Will erase the sin. You came to Hashem, you apologized, you told Him, I'm sorry. You asked for forgiveness. You asked for Him to help you not to do that sin anymore. And you keep on blaming yourself on doing that. And you cannot forget it, and you cannot forgive yourself, and you keep on blaming yourself, even though that you already took his advice and confessed and regret and did tshuva, and now it's written that that tshuva is bringing you to a higher level, even than the level that you were at before you sinned. But you don't buy that. Why? Because you choose not to believe in yourself and to follow the doubts of the evil inclination. So you're one of the soldiers of the snake instead of being one of the soldiers of King David that opened for us the path for every individual to know that it's in your power to do tshuva. It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all Him, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks. husks.